Today's video lesson is going to cover smart prompts. A smart prompt allows you to use a parameter to determine what's going to show on a report. So as you can see, we have a report with a list at the top and four different chart types. If we run this report, it's going to ask us for a prompt of which products we want to see. We'll grab a few of those. And when we run it, you'll see that these charts take up a lot of space on the report. So it's quite possible that you might only want to see one of these charts on the page, but you don't know which one you're going to want to see until you run the report. That's where a smart prompt comes in. We'll do this by adding a new prompt to the prompt page. We're going to choose a value prompt. And we're going to enter some values. We name this uh, parameter display and choose static values for our prompt. So you saw we had a bar chart, a line chart, a pie chart, and a column chart. So that's all we have to do for the prompt. Now we have to create a new variable that reads that prompt. So we'll do a string variable, and we're going to go to our parameters and choose that display parameter we just created. And the possible values are the ones we just entered. So again, bar, line, pi, and column. Now we'll go to our page and tell this how to interact with the report. So if we choose one of these elements, this is all inside of a table. We can then come into here and tell it that we want to change the style variable for that, that element based on if something's chosen. So that new parameter we created, we left called string1, which is the default. And we want to say if any of these three items that are checked are chosen, later we're going to tell it to hide that element. We'll do the same for each of these. unchecking what type of uh, chart it is. And now we can go and start to interact with these. Since we have line already highlighted, we'll choose it first. Or we'll choose bar first, sorry. So for bar, if bar is chosen, we want to hide these other three. So we'll change the box type of these to none. And that would effectively hide them. Do the same for line. So the three that are not line, we would want to change the box type to none. Do the same for pi. And finally, do the same for the column. So we've officially created a smart prompt report. If we run this report, we can now choose the products that we want to see and choose how we want to see them. And you see now we only have the pie chart. And that's how you create a smart prompt.